If you're healthy and between the ages of 18 and 60 and you haven't joined the National Marrow Donor Program Registry in the United States, here are 10 reasons why you should. Number one, you will never be in as much pain as I will. 70% of the time, you will actually be giving peripheral stem cells. And that's very similar to giving blood or donating platelets. So imagine yourself sitting in a couch uh, at a clinic and watching some TV on the screen. Number two, during my transplant, I will literally be brought to the brink of death um, through final conditioning chemotherapy, where they will kill off pretty much my entire immune system. And then my donor's cells would actually rescue me and bring me back to life. I mean, how powerful is that? How cool is that? It's something you hear from a movie um, story. So anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Number three, I will carry through the rest of the process. Um, that'll be three months of recovery and, you know, there's a lot of obstacles and complications like grass versus host diseases, but I'll take care of that. Number four, when I finally meet you, my donor out there, I will give you the biggest hug ever. Number five, how cool would it be when you're at a job interview and your future employer asks you, well, what have you done? Or if there's any special, anything special about you that sets you apart from the other thousands of applicants. And you can finally tell them, hey, I'm registered to be a marrow donor, a stem cell donor. I mean, that stuff should be on your resume. You know, you're, you're there and you're committed to saving someone's life when the time comes. Number six. Unfortunately, according to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, every four minutes, someone is newly diagnosed with a blood cancer in the United States. What if that happened to someone you knew? Someone you personally knew? How would you, what would you do? Wouldn't you want them to be covered with a potential donor match in case no one in the family is a suitable one. Number seven, you won't be losing any of your organs. You don't have to give your kidneys away. It won't be like giving your liver away or even your heart. In fact, you'll be giving something away that can regenerate on its own rather quickly. Number eight, don't wait. Even when you're registering at a live drive or requesting a home kit, it takes at least six weeks to process them and do all the typing and make sure that it's actually in the registry so that doctors and other hospitals can look up the information and provide it to patients so they can find out if they have a match. So please go ahead and act quickly. Number nine, if you're a Californian, thanks to the Michelle Macon Donation Protection Act, um, which is spearheaded by Team Michelle, you get up to five days of paid leave if you are selected as a donor for a patient. In fact, even the late Steve Jobs has advocated this life-saving opportunity um, when this legislation was in the process of being signed into law by Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Finally, number 10. Even if none of the matches go to me and I don't find one, it still benefits other patients in need. In fact, I know this to be true because I started my search two years ago and we found a match for a little boy who was going through the same illness as I am. And a lot of my friends have been contacted as potential matches. So please know that whatever you're doing out there, it's not wasted in vain and you're doing a you're making a world of difference. So please go ahead and register to become a donor.